In our previous presentations, we understood what are decrement functions and what are constant functions. We understood that constant functions are asymptotically bigger than decrement functions. Now in this lecture, we will discuss the third type of function in asymptotic notations and the name of this function is logarithmic function. So let's get started and let's understand what are logarithmic functions and how they are different from the constant functions. The topics of this lecture are logarithmic functions and comparison with constant function. We will first learn what are logarithmic functions and then we will compare logarithmic functions with constant functions. Let's get started and let's understand what are logarithmic functions. A logarithmic function is a function that grows positively but with slower growth rate. So, this is the type of function that grows positively but with the slower growth rate. It increases positively and it is bigger than the constant function. Here are some examples of logarithmic functions. Log n, log n to the power 10, log log n, log log n into log 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 n and so on. These are all logarithmic functions. And here is the graphical representation of the logarithmic function. A logarithmic function is also known as log function. This is the short form of logarithmic function. This is how the logarithmic function looks like. As the size of the input increases, the growth rate of this function is logarithmic. It grows positively but with slower growth rate. Let us assume this function is f of n, where n represents the size of the input. And f of n is equal to log n. So with this, we understood what are logarithmic functions. Now let's proceed and let's compare the logarithmic functions with constant functions. A logarithmic function is asymptotically bigger than the constant function. So, it is always the case that logarithmic function is asymptotically bigger than the constant function. Now, why is that the case? Let's try to prove this through the problem. Here is the problem. Let's say fn is equal to 100 and gn is equal to log n base 10. This means fn is the constant function and gn is the logarithmic function. Is fn equal to big O of gn? Can we say? gn is asymptotically bigger than fn? If it is the case that gn is asymptotically bigger than fn, then we will conclude that logarithmic function is asymptotically bigger than the constant function. Now, I want you to solve this problem on your own first and then we will solve this problem together. So, pause the video and try solving this problem. I hope you are done. Here is my solution. According to the definition of big O notation, fn is equal to big O of gn if and only if fn is less than or equal to c dot gn for all values of n where n is greater than or equal to n naught and c and n naught are constants. So, for some constant c, if fn is less than or equal to c dot gn, then we can conclude that fn is equal to big O of gn. And this must be true for all values of n greater than or equal to n naught, where n naught is also some constant. Now let us assume that c is equal to 1. Then we know fn is 100 and gn is log n base 10. We will get this inequality 100 less than or equal to log n base 10. Why are we getting log n base 10 here? Because after multiplying gn by c, we will get log n base 10. gn is log n base 10 and c is 1. That is why we are getting log n base 10 here. Is it true that 100 is less than or equal to log n base 10? Let's find out. Let's draw the table for 100 and log n base 10. And let's plug in different values of n here. For n equal to 10, 100 remains 100, but log 10 base 10 is 1. What if we take n as 10 to the power 100? Then 100 remains 100, 
but log 10 to the power 100 base 10 is 100. At this point, we can observe that fn is equal to c dot gn. Previously, it was greater than c dot gn. Now, what if we take n as 10 to the power 1000? Then 100 remains 100, but at this point, we can observe that we have 10 to the power 1000 as n. This means after replacing this n by 10 to the power 1000, we will get log 10 to the power 1000 base 10, which is equal to 1000. At this point, we can observe that fn is less than c dot gn. Even for greater values of n, we will observe that fn is less than c dot gn. At this moment, we can say that n naught is equal to 10 to the power 100 because at this point, fn is equal to c dot gn and after this point, fn is less than c dot gn. Therefore, 100 is less than or equal to log n base 10. This inequality is true. Therefore, gn is asymptotically bigger than fn. There is no doubt that gn is asymptotically bigger than fn and hence logarithmic function is asymptotically bigger than the constant function. We just proved this. And with this, we are done with the comparison of logarithmic functions with constant functions. And now we are done with this topic and we are done with this lecture. We understood what are logarithmic functions and what is the comparison of logarithmic functions and constant functions. Logarithmic functions are asymptotically bigger than constant functions and constant functions are asymptotically bigger than decrement functions. This means logarithmic functions are asymptotically bigger than decrement functions as well. This is the final conclusion. So with this, we are done with this lecture. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.